Well, I've been painting the back seam boards. Stick around and I'll show you exactly what I've been up to. Well, good evening everyone and welcome back to Piccadilly. Now, this video is all about painting the back seam boards. Now, I am gonna paint this board in front of you, both sides. Um, this side is going to be a lot more simple um, at this stage, um, purely to give it a sky. And I'm gonna paint that sky all the way to the bottom. Now you might be thinking, well, that's nowhere close to being what we thought. Um, the scene to the right is a cityscape and this will be done in a cityscape, but not yet. Um, there needs to be a lot of thought going into that. Um, so purely to get rid of the white background, I'm just going to paint the sky. Um, but what I am going to show you is the work on the other side of the board where it's going to be a sunny sky. Whereas this side, it starts off sunny. Um, but when I did that, uh, a lot of people said to me, John, that's very nice, but Manchester's often quite rainy. And yeah, I get it. So I'm going to leave that as it is, but I am going to gradually introduce more rain clouds and more grey skies as it goes further round and obviously pick up over there as and when I get that far, but that's not today. So then the rest of this board will be done with the cityscape, which is over there, done from Google Maps. And I'm going to recreate a cityscape based on the Google Maps, uh, but improve it somewhat. Um, I think what I had there last time was a bit bland and basic, but it served a purpose. OK, so that's to come in the future. Now, when you see all this, please don't think you've got to go out and buy all this lot to paint a back scene. You don't but you will need some paints and I recommend that you buy a small tin. Now, um, these were my mother's and they came in a small um, tin just like this and you've got a variety of colours. The biggest colour you only need for a sky is cobalt blue. Um, that will give you a nice bright sunny sky. Do not use ultramarine, do not use that colour because it's far too dark and it will look like night time. But the most colours you're going to need, or the most you're going to need of, is white. Now, whatever form you choose to do that, you can go out and buy big tubes of white, but it's going to get very expensive because you're going to have a lot of board to paint. So I would recommend, as long as all this is water-based, white emulsion. You've probably got some of that in the shed or in the garage, and you might as well use it. Matte emulsion will do the job and it will mix quite well with all this lot. And it doesn't have to be the most expensive from the shop. It can be the cheapest. As long as it will put something down onto the board and it's you can physically see it, as long as it's not literally dishwater, it will work. And you just mix in all these colours with it. OK, on the brushes front, um, you can just use... Um, decorating brushes if you really must. Um, artist brushes will give you a much better finish because they're softer. Like for example this one you can see the difference you know that is really quite smooth so a good quality artist brush um, a good quality decorating brush will do the job um, but that's up to you. You will need a palette of some description but a dinner plate will do that and an atomizer that will just help keep your paint wet and help it to flow and on top of that you will need some resource material which you could get um, on the internet um, pictures of skies find skies that you like and find a number of different pictures which are similar similar in color in which case then you could just not necessarily copy, but get inspiration from them and work out what you want to do from that. If you go in blind, it's going to be much more difficult to get something much more realistic. OK, so let's... Right, 
Now, sorry about the squeaking floor. There's not a lot I can do about that. But the first thing I want to do is just to literally just put a base coat of, of white on and I'm going to spritz it so that the white actually covers the whole area. We'll put a bit more on than that. But I want it to just be quite thin. Now, one of the things that I've seen some people do is paint the whole sky the baby blue if you like from top to bottom and the sky isn't quite like that if you paint it blue to the bottom it will give the impression it's dusk and starting to get turn into night time or the other way around it's starting to it's turning from night to day um, but if you want to create the feeling of depth that the sky um, is going into the background um, you'll need to create um, even perspective even in the sky you might be aware that things get paler as they get further away and it's no different with the sky it starts off with a quite I'd say a deep blue at the top but it's more of a mid-range uh, cobalt blue here and it just gets whiter 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 till it's almost white now in painting terms I prefer to have it actually white at the bottom or halfway down or two-thirds of the way down whatever but if you go so it's it's still quite a darkish colour, then it's not going to look quite right. It's going to have to be quite pale at the bottom. And that will give that feeling of the clouds disappearing into the background. Now, it's really important to keep this wet. Now, I've literally just put a cover over all of that for the time being don't let it dry is the is one of the secrets to this right now you see me keep misting this because it's really important not to let it dry so i'm literally just going to mix in an amount of blue okay i can go darker than that and you'll notice i'm going diagonally for the time being because what i'm trying to do is get the blue lower down Uh, mist again and uh, try and take the blue further down like that and try and get it fairly even now i'm just putting this on with a brush that's in the it's not necessarily the best brush but i didn't want to be dipping my best artist brushes into the emulsion <laughs> But you can see it's starting to smooth out a bit. And when I switch to a better brush, it will smooth out a lot quicker than that. Right, you can see it's almost white on the horizon now. I will put a bit more back in. And blend it back up a bit. Right, a bit more blue. I can afford to go a bit darker. Okay, now the fact it's got these streaks in it, I'm really not that worried by it. But now I'm just going to start painting on some cloud formations. And notice I'm using a dabbing action. And it really doesn't matter how you do them. Thought I'd interject here. Um, one of the things I've seen children doing in schools is they tend to paint the clouds like an outline. So they paint effectively circles. Um, so what I'd strongly suggest you do is please stick to the dabbing action and the clouds will look a lot more realistic.
but they do sort of give the impression okay and to be honest with you you could get away with just doing that but I am going to put in just a tad tiniest little bit of just to create a little bit of interest you don't want much okay a little bit more white And then what you find is that the clouds will then sort of dissipate at the bottom to give that impression that it's going on further. I am going to blend that out a bit more. Now bear in mind I am going to paint a uh, background here so this will become a uh, field scene or countryside scene probably been a bit naughty and I've gone ahead and done some extra things to the other side um, but I'll show you all that in a minute uh, but I just wanted to show you this is Piccadilly side now as you can see I've started off with it is rainy and I do want to sort of address that a lot of people said that it was too um, sunny <laughs> when I did the other one I'm gonna leave that but I wanted to address the rainy side of things so it's, it looks quite stormy almost doesn't it but never mind <laughs> that's the way it is um now you might be wondering what's going on here at the bottom half uh, that's because there i've left a gap for the buildings which i'm going to put on so there'll be the google back scenes or the google maps uh, back scene that i made uh, then I will trim the top to make more of a, a jaggedy cityscape as opposed to that flat horizontal horizon. And then I'm going to um, put some relief buildings on the front of that. There's not a lot of space, so it won't be much. All right, but that's to give you a flavour of where I'm going. Now, this was done very similar way. So if you notice, it's slightly darker at the top and it gets paler towards the bottom. So the dark edge highlights the fact that I've got some clouds here. Now, this is... A normal rainy sky would just be complete grey clouds but this is giving the impression that it's still possibly quite sunny and yet it's still raining at the same time and yet as we go further over it's getting greyer and greyer and more and more cloudy as it goes across that way so if you follow the steps that I've done for the other one um, then you probably should be able to do this one quite easily notice I've got some more greyer colours in this I did put it's not black, it's more of a brownie colour, um, raw sienna in there, mixed it in with the blue, and then a little bit of Payne's grey um, underneath the clouds there as well, just to give them the impression that there are, they are heavy, ready to fall. 
as well. But again, please look at some pictures, um, reference material, if you want to go ahead and do this type right, of thing. I'll get this back on and we'll have a look and see what I've done on the other side. Well, there we go. There's that board fitted. So the idea was to create a more rainy sky. It was actually quite stormy at that point. And then it's getting um, more and more sunny as it goes towards that end and obviously into this board. Okay. I've also cut that down so it slopes a bit more. And as it's kind of going into the distance that way, the perspective sort of helps a little bit there. So I think I'm getting away with that. Um, the, now I am aware that the shadows are creating a vertical line at that point, but I'm really not that worried because when this area has buildings all over it, you won't notice it anywhere. And I can always put something quite tall over that just to even cover that cloud even somewhat. But that's that side. So that will be like that for a little while, not hopefully too long. But as you can appreciate, there is a lot of work to do um, on the rest of the station. And it might look fairly finished, but I've got this platform details to go here. Um, obviously, platform 13 and 14 is nothing happened on that whatsoever. And that monstrosity there, um, that needs to be changed um, because that is hideous and there is the big canopy project which i'm going to tell you about very very soon now um, so that's coming up keep an eye open for that one and um, that building that was there that needs to be changed um, i was quite pleased with it at first but over the months it's well <laughs> it's not great is it <laughs> so that will be improved upon uh, but anyway, that's that side. So let's take you around to the countryside. Well, there it is. I couldn't resist. I was lacking on areas where I could film properly and have more of a finished area. So I thought, why not? So let's look at the back scene first of all. So I've obviously been done a bit more since the video or the clip, if you like. Now it is quite stylized, I know, and it's perhaps not everybody's cup of tea, but I like it and forgive me, but it's my layout. <laughs> so I've made it for me and um, obviously everybody is very, very welcome along the journey. And if you like it, then you're very welcome to do similar, you know, there's no license on it. But on top of that, I really wanted to get the um, actual scene finished. So for the first time, this area here has been ballasted. I wanted it to look quite patchy. There's a couple of, um, what they're called now um, drains I've forgotten what they're called they've got a name but uh, yeah and you can see I've sort of refixed the tunnel the when I put that sort of um, papi mashi type mixture all over that it uh, caused a few issues and I ended up with all the foliage falling off so I've what I did was fix some um, acetate behind uh, glued it in with a hot glue gun and then packed it with um, tissue paper. That gave me a surface to glue all this foliage to. So that was done probably to about there because the whole lot was literally leaning forward. It didn't look very good. And then I've glued the um, lichen, this stuff, which just happens to be that one by Gage Master Knock. Okay. It does come in different colours, and I got that from my local model shop. There are loads of brands available for that, um, some more expensive than others, and you have to take your pick. You can even buy a multi-coloured pack if you want, but you do need to do something to it. Colours can be a bit garish. So what did I do to tone it down a little bit is to then spray it all, obviously glue it all down, and most of that was glued with the hot glue gun because it's quick. And then I sprayed it with isopropyl alcohol and PVA, and then just using a variety of um, flocks. Literally just a number of different colors on there, 
hopefully just to give the impression that it is wild um, foliage, if you like. So I've sprayed, you can see the yellow I've sprayed up over there. Just tiny, tiny little bits, just to give the indication there are possibly flowers growing on it. But I think that's, that's giving it a little bit more of a, a countryside feel. So you can watch that pendolino coming through now. Incidentally, as I said that earlier in the video or last video, it's running beautifully now. It did have a bit of a hiccup the other day when um, it did have a bit of carnage. Half the train left the track on a couple of um, revolutions, but it seems to be doing quite well now again. <laughs> it's, the, it's the couplings not quite aligning up, so I might still have a little bit more work to do on that. But anyway, I think that, that will conclude that video and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please do like, subscribe and share and I will catch you again very, very soon here on Piccadilly possibly for the canopy project see you soon